What's going on everyone? It's time for another film review. Today we're actually going to talk about a long documentary called In Search of Tomorrow, which is a documentary on 80 sci-fi films. It was released February 19th, 2022, and it was directed by David A. Weiner, who also did In Search of Darkness, In Search of Darkness Part 2, The Journey to 80, so it continues. He's doing the third one that's coming out, and he's also working on uh, In Search of the Last Action Heroes. So, yeah, he's uh, quite the big... Um, uh, documentary makes these big long ones and they're usually crowdfunded and stuff and that so yeah uh, so in search of tomorrow is a document an in-depth look at um, 80 sci-fi movies so they talk about oh, almost like, a, like at least like 50 to 60 different popular ones obviously some of the cheesier B ones I covered on this channel too and uh, some that I've never even heard of so yeah it's a good in-depth documentary where they talk to the like, cast members people who worked on the films and stuff and they mainly go talk about like how it how it revolutionized the film industry just like the horror one the horror films did in the 80s uh sci-fi was another big one because like all the studio practical effects at the time was all done in camera so there's tons of they talk about from everything from matte paintings to like stop motion animation, mixing it with puppeteering and uh, all these practical effects. And even the later half of the documentary will talk about how some films try to utilize the dawn of like the CG era, which we are in now, sadly. And uh, yeah, but um, these are the type of movies I love that they talk about. So um, anything with practical effects and everything gets a thousand times better than the garbage we get now of all the CG junk that five years down the road looks like trash. So, um, but yeah. Uh, and they cover a lot of like good ones, the big ones, the Star Wars sequels. They didn't cover Star Wars the first one because that was released originally released in the 70s. So, um, but they covered Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes Back in it. Uh, they did Star Trek 2, Star Trek or a lot of other ones and they and they cover a wide range of basics of the film uh canon and what was going on at the time the video market the what studios think were going to be trash became like big mega hits and stuff like that and um yeah it's just like a really good five hour in-depth documentary into this stuff now if you're not into these type of films you probably will not find this <laughs> uh, as interesting but um yeah there's a it's a good way to find a lot of hidden gems too and stuff of all the movies they cover and in between each year so they start with 1980 and then they go to 1989 but in each year they have like these little segments in between one of them's like uh, on film scores yeah, the ones like casting and things like that. And all these uh, other things that come and help revolutionize film in the decade. Especially with the sci-fi genre. And uh, yeah, everything from creature effects to... Um, yeah, tons and tons of other and there's things they even touch on like sci-fi comedies where they poke fun at like like space balls for example how it pokes fun at like everything that's uh what's happening at the time merchandising all that and uh being a big spoof and they have a couple of those examples of those in the film in the documentary and they talked to over 70 plus people that were involved in the films and stuff and they even have like people with doctorate degrees and stuff phds and like psychology and things like that talking about how we perceive them uh magazine editors and all probably not just strictly the filmmakers and stuff and uh yeah it's very good it's not five hours flies by real fast when you watch this one especially if you're into it and uh yeah now if you're familiar with the in search of darkness it's sort of the same sort of style of how they put it together and everything like that and uh yeah it's a really fun in depth documentary on sci-fi films i really enjoyed it um there's nothing really to complain about i wish it was actually longer and had more um but 
you know, they're probably going to make another one. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this one was definitely one of uh, the really good documentaries out there. But sadly, we don't see them as much nowadays. And they are definitely covering better ones, better films and stuff, I find, made back then than now. So, definitely check it out. Um, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5. It's awesome. Definitely check it out. There's a trailer link down below if you want to check it out and see what I'm talking about. Also, link down below is my Instagram. That's where I post clips of films I'm going to do in the future on my story. I just have the film time on the hashtag. So, if you want to film on the hashtag, so you're aware of it. And my letterbox is also down below with Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first day right now after watching the films. So follow me on one of those two channels. One of those two platforms. Stay in loop with this channel. Like the video, share it to more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And also, if you have any other films or film franchises that you want. You want to hear my opinions, opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try to get them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And I'll review any genre, so don't worry about that. And make sure you subscribe because hopefully you'll find something weird, obscure, and all that you probably never thought of checking it together. And also, so you hear my opinions on popular films coming out at the time, classic films, and other films, things like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell because uh, I got like one more B movie to talk about. Sci fi or B movie called They Came from Beyond Space. Which I'm probably gonna touch on in the next video, and they'll, I don't know, I'll probably hop on each other after that, find something weird and to check out on that one. So, yeah, make sure you ring that bell so you uh, keep up with what's coming on, and definitely check out Search of Darkness, uh, or In Search of Tomorrow. Definitely a really good film. So, yeah, but well, that's it for this one. So hopefully we can keep all this 80s nostalgia going. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.